Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nut video series on binary interview related question series and this video is check if the given graph is tree or not and this is very important question. Why important? Because you should know that the graph and tree relation is this. You have tree and superset is graph. So here you see that every graph is not tree but every tree is a graph. So this question is valid that given a graph G1, you have to check whether it is tree or not. Because if this is the relation, your graph can lie here or here. Okay, so your graph either can be graph and tree bro both or it can be just graph cannot be tree. And what are those distinguishing factor? There are just two distinguishing factor. One is there should not be any cycle. And second is, it should be connected. Cycle meaning, if you have connectivity like this, then this is not a tree, this is a graph. If you remove this one, then only it is a tree. So, if this exists, meaning there is a loop, right? If you start from here, you can go here, and then here, here, and you can go back to this node, right? This doesn't happen in case of tree, because tree is always like, this right you don't go back from here to here these connections are always like this there is no connection backward or in simple terms you cannot see loops in tree and connected meaning it is possible that your given graph is like this you have this connectivity okay not this just this and this so your given graph is this. See, they both are different, but the point is they cannot be tree now. It should be connected somehow. This should be any connection, either this one or this one or this one. Okay. These two different components should not exist. Otherwise it is not tree. It is a graph. Okay. So cycle should not be there and it should be connected. It should be just simple one single component or entity then only you can say it's a tree so you would have understood like you have to write a program which will detect cycle in a graph and another piece where it will check whether it is connected or not so let's see quickly how you detect cycles so see this is your function you will call this is tree function with how many nodes are there and this essence list which will contain this whole thing so let's try to uh, create this essence list 0 is pointing at 1 1 is connected with 2 and 3 2 is connected with 1 and 4 4 is connected with 2 and 3 and 3 is connected with 1 and so this is how your adjacency list would look like. So this is the first vector this guy and then it contains another vector which is these vectors okay so i have already explained like how vector of vectors work in your agency list so this is your data structure okay you will get this data structure inside this you won't get it like a node pointer or stuff like that you you, you get it like this and then we have this visited array created with all false so it creates an array and initialize everything to the false so let's do that as well and the value is going to be false for every number and see we will check is cyclic so first we will check the cycle and second condition was connected so this is for cycle check and this is for connected check I'll, I'll come to this connection checking later first let's go and do this so starting point is zero see i have set the starting point here and starting point is zero and this is what is your starting point i mean what is the current node and from where you are visiting this so currently i'm keeping it as a minus one so that it says that okay i'm not visiting it from any other node this is the first node so this is how i'll tell it and this is your adjacency list and this is your visited array this guy so we are passing this into this is cyclic now concentrate here it is very important visited is getting true here with this source so zeroth position is now getting true so we have this true now and we'll go inside this for every see for all the nodes which are connected with zero will come out so this src is zero right so we'll loop for this all the connected nodes for zero for now it is just one 
so i will be pointing at one visited one is it true no it is not true because one is not visited so what we'll do we'll visit it if that is not the case then what you would have done see if that is not the case meaning if it is visited i told you right then you have to check the second condition also like if it is not equal to the parent then only you will say it is a cycle if it is equal to the parent meaning you have just this relationship like i mean this relationship you was going from 1 to 3 and then 3 to 1 basically you are not going you are storing it like this just because you have to store undirected graph like this so by default it looks like a cycle even if you draw like 1 and 3 because if, if there is no direction meaning we consider bidirectional right so to avoid this particular case we'll have this condition check also so for now we'll go here because 1 is not visited we'll go with i is now becoming the current node and its parent is src so src is 0 and 1 is the current node so we are standing here right now and we are reaching from 0 see we said that okay we are reaching from 0 and vector and visited is passed just like that uh oh this should be the address otherwise it will keep on creating this visited <laughs> again and again so to keep this visited single array throughout this stack you have to use at a reference here okay i think you got the point here now let's see and yeah you can use this uh, also a reference so that you will not end up copying this whole agency list again and again and again i don't know how i missed this so see i was talking like now we'll have one as this source and parent is going to be zero we'll come inside this we'll mark this as visited so this is also visited now and then we'll go ahead for all child of one so once children are two and three let's suppose we're going for two now so we'll go for two we'll have two here and we are reaching from one and we'll call ourselves and then we'll make this also true so once we have marked this as true meaning true is two is visited then we'll do the same for loop for two because now src is two and now notice this two's children are one and four the moment you will try to go for one you will see that is it already visited yes it is already visited and see now this will be the savior here i is one and we have src equal to two right and how did we reach to two two's parent was here what did we have one so now we'll have one here so one is not equal to one no this is not true so we will not return true here this will not be executed we'll go again in the loop and then we'll visit four this time okay so we'll check four is visited no four is not visited we'll mark four also visited now you understood right like how this condition is a big savior otherwise you would have directly declared that okay this is a loop but this is not the loop case okay that's how we'll check twice this visited and then this parent thing so now we have this four also visited now four children are two and three see now src is four let me clean this so src is four now all the vectors for this four i mean values for this four is two and three so first we'll have two inside this i two is visited dude two is already visited then i'll not go into this then i'll check if this is true so two here because i is two now and how did we reach to four parent was two we reached to four with the help of second parent i mean uh, this parent only right now you will again have this condition and it is not going to be true so you will again loop and ignore this case so you will hit three now because three is the next children for four and now see three is still not visited here okay so now you will mark this as visited you will visit this here three so everything is now true now everything is visited let me clean this up so what is the current situation we have three here and we reach to three with the help of four so four is the parent now we have marked this three as true and then we want to go for all the children for three now see how this will break three is connected with first one and then four okay this is the list you have so you will check is one visited because one you will have in this i for first time yeah one is already visited and this is check now you will check this now notice this carefully i is one and parent is four they both are not equal meaning true meaning there is a cycle that's how you will detect the cycle this just mean that i did not go from here to here and then i am again looking for reaching back no i reached to this three from some another place not from one 
and if I am going to 1 and when 1 is already visited meaning there is a loop and wait a minute don't go anywhere this is not done yet we have just completed this first thing if you return true from here then you will get true here and if it is true then you will return false for from here meaning it is not a tree let's suppose you are not returning any true from here you happen to return false meaning there is no cycle if there is no cycle it doesn't mean that it is a tree we have to have this condition check also what is this condition see you will check all the visits are true or not if they all are true meaning there was just single component meaning all were connected there was no disconnect like maybe five but if there was some disconnect then you would have your visited array like this you have false here okay because you initiated your visited array like this number of nodes so fifth would have also been there and its value is false and you started with one and you did hold this calculation but you cannot reach to five because there is no path here so once you will be done you will be returned here you will say that there is no cycle but the moment you are visiting here you found that there is still a node exist with false meaning this was not connected with zero or whatever the node you sent in the beginning meaning there is a disconnect this is not tree so i think we are clear now thanks for watching guys bye bye take care and don't forget to hit the like button guys it helps me a lot keep learning thank you already bye bye take care